Hey, it's Hunter Tester with Hunter Tester Music. Here are four basic banjo concepts that every beginner should know. Before we get into that, be sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications when I post more content. So I want to walk you through uh, four basic banjo concepts that everyone should know when they're starting out. The first one is called a pinch. It involves playing two strings at the same time. It's most commonly seen between the first and the fifth string. So, to get ready to play this, you have your, your thumb that is going to play the fifth string, and you have your middle finger in the right hand that's going to play the first string. And what you do is you pull up at the same time when you pick the strings. So you want to be sure to do it with a lot of force too so it's heard well. You don't want it to be like... But you want to make sure it, sound, it sounds good whenever you do it. So it's like this. So that is called a pinch. It's used in songs like Cripple Creek. And there's also pinches that involve other strings as well. For example, the second and the first. There's some songs that kick off like that. So that those are two different kinds of pinches. So now you know how to play a pinch. The next basic banjo concept that I want to get into is the slide. With a slide you're just playing it once in the right hand but you're getting the, the sound of two notes. For, so for this example I want you to hold on the second fret third string with your middle finger in your left hand and you're going to move to the third fret. In your right hand you're going to pick the third string with your thumb. So at the same time that you pick the third string you're going to move your middle finger in your left hand from the second to third fret. So it goes like this. You pick the string once, but then you move your hand, your left hand. And this is used uh, in a lot of songs with the roll, such as the 3 2 5 1 roll. So that is a slide. It's also very important if you're a beginner banjo player. The third concept I want to get into is the hammer-on. For this example, I'm going to use the same frets, the second and third fret, on the third string. But this time in your right hand, use your pointer finger to play the third string with. So pick the third string once, but you're going to mash down with your middle finger as well, or hammer on in the third fret. Again, you just play it once in the right hand, but then you set your middle finger down in the third fret while the sound is still going. This is a hammer on. Another uh, concept and the last one that I'm going to go through today is the pull off. It's basically the opposite of a hammer on. So we're going to use the same frets, the same strings, except this time you're going to start in the third fret on the third string and go back to the second. So you're going to play it once in the right hand and then you're going to lift up your middle finger in the left hand. So it goes like this. 
So again, you're getting two notes, but you're just playing it once. That's also a concept that's really important in banjo playing. So now you know four basic banjo concepts that every beginner should know. The pinch, the slide, hammer on, and the pull off. I hope this is helpful. And if you could comment below uh, where you are at, if you're a beginner, if you already know quite a bit on the banjo, I want to know where you're at and just get to know you. And if there's any other content you'd like for me to create, I'm making uh, tutorials and other helpful uh, things for beginners starting out on the banjo. So just reach out to me in the comments and I'll, I'll try to, um, to create that content for you. And be sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I'm posting about every day. Uh, just short little clips to help you start out on the banjo. So be sure to follow me there. And if you're a beginner, be sure to pick up your free tab in the link below as well. But until, until next time, we'll see you soon.